All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. I got eight questions to answer today, so let's get started with Pixelized. And he says, ASA, will you do a playthrough or a review of the Skywalker Saga on your channel when it releases on April 5th, my birthday? Honestly, probably not a playthrough, maybe a review if someone asks me to like give my opinion on it after it's been out for a while, I might answer that. Like if someone asks in the ASA, what did you think of the game? I might say the best I'll probably probably do is use gameplay kind of like I'm doing right now for ASA so um, that could be kind of cool so I might use it for gameplay that's probably the best you're gonna get out of it you know so I am excited for the game though next question is from Hershey and he says ASA why do you hate me who says I hate you I don't hate you I don't hate anyone hating is stupid and kind of dumb honestly and so I don't hate anyone I don't think I do at least so I think it's just a joke I don't hate you and I don't hate anyone so next question is from EK Starlin he says are you going to see the new Marvel Studios show Moon Knight. Oh yes, I definitely am going to. Moon Knight has always been even though, and this is kind of weird, I don't know much about him, right? But he's always been one of my favorite characters from Marvel, so I'm definitely going to watch the show when it comes out. Next question is from Brick and Awesome, and he says, ASA what is your favorite fast food? I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is my favorite. It is just amazing. I, I literally could eat there once a week. In fact, I pretty much do. I could eat there probably more than once a week, but you know, uh, it's just absolutely amazing. I love Chick-fil-A. So I'm going to go with Chick-fil-A. Next question is from Hershey again. And he says, ASA, do you think the new $80 set could be a new Mandalorian ship from Bob F? I like how you say Bob F and not Boba Fett. Obviously, this question was asked before the set got revealed. So you didn't know. No, it's not going to be. It's actually this one. And this is actually $60. Look at how amazing this set is. I cannot wait to get it. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what the $80 set is. But obviously, when you asked it, you didn't know. So yeah, but let's move on. Next question question is from EK Starlord again and he says what is your thoughts on the new Boba Fett's palace set images so I guess I'm not allowed to talk about the set no I'm just kidding um so based off the images first we'll start with the box oh my goodness is this box beautiful like I know it's weird to like be like a box is beautiful but here I am it is just gorgeous like look at that like I love the green it reminds me of like 2013 sets but with that black greebling from like the 2022 or it is 2022, 2021 sets. Oh, it's just so cool. Actually, more like the 2020 sets uh, with the, what's that movie called? The Rise of Skywalker. I can't even remember. That's how bad it was, right? No, I don't know. Um, but I like the the Boba and Fennec in the front there. It's really cool. So this, the, the, I'm losing my words. The set is really cool. I really do like it. I think it's a little bit, of a downgrade from like the 2012 one. I don't like the stickers. There's quite a good bit of stickers, like at least four, like in the throne or three on the throne, the two Rancor heads, then the thing on the back and then the two above the throne. So there's a good bit of stickers, unfortunately, I'm sure there's more, but the build looks really cool. You can actually fold it, which looks amazing. So like you can actually kind of display it on fold. So on fold, does that make sense? Um, So I think that's pretty cool. And then the minifigure selection is probably the least interesting to me. Usually minifigure are like what I love about getting sets but I'm not too interested they're cool the Boba and Fennec look cool it's cool to have Fennec without her helmet I hope she comes with a helmet though I'm not sure she does I haven't watched anyone's review on it yet the Biv Fortuna pretty cool I'm not sure who this pink hair lady is or the squid guy only one Gamorrean guard that seems kind of dumb I wish we got two and I'm not even sure what this guy is I'll do research on like what they are and everything for the review because I will be doing a short review of this set but it's going to be challenging because it's only going to be like a minute long this set looks amazing amazing. I can't wait to get it. I actually pre-ordered mine and I will be getting it on March 3rd. So that's amazing. So I'm super excited about that. Not lame. Next question is from Mr. Blue and he says, ASA, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? My favorite Star Wars movie is episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. I've just always have loved that movie. I just, I don't know why. It's just oh so amazing to me. It's so cool. And then my second favorite would probably be episode three, Revenge of the Sith, because that movie is awesome too. And our last question is from Ace Gamers studios and he says what were your thoughts on the final episode of the book of boba fett i liked it for the most part i think it was a good show like i'm kind of getting more talk about like the whole series i'm not going to like go in depth about each episode or anything but there were things i didn't like about the show like the mods i think everyone can
can agree that the Power Rangers were just weird. It was kind of, I don't know. It's just, I don't like that. But I kind of like and hate at the same time how it was more of a series than a show about Boba Fett. Like, it was kind of like connecting the Mandalorian with him. And it was kind of cool, but kind of dumb. Like, a whole entire episode where Boba wasn't even in the show about Boba seemed a little weird, right? I still really enjoyed it. I really did think that it was a good show for the most part. Maybe a little rushed. The last thing I would say, though, is I kind of don't like how they killed Cad Bane. I feel like that was a waste. So I'm holding on to the theory that he's still alive and will come back maybe with like mod parts or something. And that could be cool because if he's like dead dead, then that's such a waste and stupid. And what was even the point in bringing him back? And I get that his face should have been a little longer, but I still think he looked really cool. And I love how they even had the same voice actor and everything. So Cad Bane was just amazing to see again. So I enjoyed the show though. I think, or series, I don't know what you want to call it. I think it was good. I think it was cool and I hope they make another series. I'm going to give the show, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. No, that's too generous. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think it was good, but it wasn't amazing or anything. That's going to do it for today's episode of ASA, so thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for all your questions. Make sure you comment a question or two for the next episode and I will pin my favorite to the top, but until next time, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to leave a like. It helps out a lot.